Happy birthday, though. Thank you. President Doug, no Rotarian cadets, on behalf of Denver Rotary Club 31 World Community Service Committee, it is a great pleasure to introduce you to a recently completed World Community Service Project and let you hear from a representative of the beneficiary school what your dollars are doing for that school. Before introducing our guest today, let me repeat what some of you already know, and that is that the Rotary World Community Service Matching Grant Program is one of the strongest charitable donation programs worldwide. In the years 2008 to 2010, our committee has worked on a budget with funds from the Denver Rotary Foundation, averaging $36,000 to $40,000 annually. From that financial base, the World Community Service Committee has made grants of about $91,300 in the same period, which was then matched with district and Rotary International funds, and have totaled about $2.7 million in value to beneficiary recipients overseas. In the case of the uh, MTI's Academy grant, our World Community Service Committee donated $4,000. Five other District 5450 clubs and the local Pakistani host club contributed $5,200 and one interested non-Rotarian threw in $10,000. The total of $19,200 was matched by District 5450 and Rotary International Foundation funds of $11,150, bringing the grand total to $30,350 for the school. That's over seven times our own club's contribution. In order to get the money delivered to the school due to some unique circumstances, it was necessary to call for assistance from Rotarians in and outside of our club and our district. Our team of helpers, working with the support of committee chair Sandy Purcell, standing by call your name, Sandy, and we included Wayne Gondera and Jim Goddard, please stand, and included our own Grant Wilkins, past temporary Rotary president, and Rotary International board member, our district governor, Sharon Seti. Rotary Foundation trustee Lynn Hammond of Loveland and past Rotary International President for the years 2007 and 8, Canadian Will Wilkerson. Just before Christmas, the funds were delivered to the school, and as usual, Rotary fulfilled our promise to that school. With that bit, with that bit of background, it is now my great pleasure to introduce to you today's guest speaker, Mrs. Aisha Nawaz. Development Director of the Al Intiaz Academy of Abbottabad, Pakistan. Aisha was born in Pakistan and immigrated to the United States with her family at age seven. She graduated from St. Mary's Academy in Cherry Hills Village and went on to Colorado College where she earned a Bachelor of Arts in International Political Economics. She received her secondary teaching license from the University of Colorado Boulder and worked as a social studies teacher at New Vista High School in Boulder. Aisha was then selected as an ambassadorial scholar by District 5450 and used that program in the years 2006 and 7 to obtain a master's degree in Middle Eastern history at the American University of Cairo. Aisha has also studied in Bolivia, Morocco, and Syria. She and her Canadian-born husband, Dawood Hornsby, moved to Pakistan in 2008 to work at the al Diaz Academy, a school which was started by her grandmother educate children from low-income families. Today, Aisha will tell and show us, assuming the, the projector is working, what these rotary matching funds mean to the academy and its students. Please welcome Aisha Nawaz. Pakistan. And the aim of the school was to help 